Hello lovelies, product review and this week I want to look at the whole range of vegan plant-based mayonnaises and aiolis that are hitting the market and I get quite distressed when I see a lot of these products because we can be deceived into thinking that because something has plant-based on it or vegan that it's healthy and I just want to say that, you know, it, it doesn't. You know, there can be, um, you know, something can be plant-based. It can be gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, um, have omega-3s in it. And it just has all these things on the front of the packet making you think that this must be the healthiest product ever. And then when you turn it over and have a look at the ingredients, my first thought is to throw it not even put it, but throw it back on the shelf. Now, this particular product, the first ingredient is granola, eh, granola, canola oil. So you know what you should do? You should actually throw it. Throw it away. If anything's got canola oil in it or any of those seed oils, canola, cottonseed, corn, um, safflower, sunflower, um, soy, they are all highly processed, genetically modified oils, and they are so unhealthy for you. You can tell I get really passionate about it. So, you know, look, some things are okay to be using once in a while or, you know, transitioning, but these aren't. And I would just encourage you to find another dressing, find another way. Now, one of the things that you can easily do, you know, is squeeze some lemon juice over, you know, your salad. Or you can, um, you know, mix up some uh, apple cider vinegar with a bit of honey. One of the things that I like to make so that I get a nice creamy dressing is blend up a, an orange. So you peel the orange, you put the orange in your food processor with a tablespoon of tahini, which is the crushed sesame seed paste. So that's where you're getting your healthy fats from, but at least it's a whole fat. It's not the sesame oil, it's the whole fat. Um, and a little bit of herbamere, which is the healthy salt, and blend that. And it's a lovely, thick, rich, creamy dressing. Um, you could also make a dressing out of avocados. So that way you're getting a healthy fat, but you're getting the whole fat with all the fiber and all the goodness. And you're really avoiding some of the nastiest processed oils on the planet. And they come in those, um, those a lot of those dressings. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, pop them below and um, I'll talk to you soon.